Hi, I'm Roma. And I'm Katie. And we are the author and illustrator of new book, How Was That Built? We've created some films which include some demonstration and drawing exercises which give you secret insights into the book. This film is about semicircles, domes and the amazing Pantheon which is in Rome. The Pantheon is one of my favourite structures. It's a giant dome and it's made from concrete and it's a 2,000 year old structure. Now the way domes work are is pretty incredible and domes are actually a form of an arch and an arch is a two-dimensional semicircular piece of structure and a dome is a three-dimensional piece of semicircular structure so if we first start off with explaining a little bit about how an arch works I've once again got some lovely colorful card I'm gonna cut a nice thick strip um, simple I've got two bits of tape which are gonna act as little supports and what I'm going to do now is simply put the supports down and then I'm going to place this arch in the middle here and that's it you can create this curved shape with an arch in a really simple way what you'll find now is if you put some weight on top of this arch so imagine you're pushing down on this arch you can see that its supports are moving out sideways right so the way arches work is pushing out against the base which makes the base smooth out. So you basically need to make sure that your foundations supporting this arch are really nice and solid and can take this pushing force. So if we now turn the arch into a dome, which is basically the 3D version of it, um, we can see how there's a slightly different way that you can support the dome. So I'm gonna put these bits of tape away and I've actually created a little mock dome um, before, but what I basically did was to create six strips of card and then I got a hole in the center of it I've stacked them all up and then I've put a split pin down the middle so a split pin is one of these clever little things which has two feet sticking out and then you can separate the legs to create um, a point at which the card can turn around it so that's what I've done here six strips of card with a split pin underneath it so first of all I'm going to fan them out so if I just did this, we would have an arch, but I want to make a dome, so I'm going to fan these out. Um, I decided to go with yellow and orange for no particular reason, maybe because it's just about summer still. So I fan these out, and then instead of putting bases down on the table or supports on the table like I did before, I'm actually going to incorporate it inside the dome itself. So. Katie is going to help me here. Um, I'm going to turn my dome over. I'm going to kind of cup it to try and create a shape of the dome. And Katie is going to use a long strip of card and she's going to tape it around the base of the dome. So let's have a go at this. So I'm going to wrap around that strip of card and we're going to tape it up so that it creates a ring. Amazing. So you might need a little bit of help to do this bit. And then what you'll see is I'm going to turn this over. I'm going to settle this strip down a little bit. And here I have got a dome. So in this case, if I start pressing down on it, what you'll see is that this lovely strip here that we added at the end actually ties the base of the dome together and so when you use concrete to build a dome you need something to basically hold it together um, and that is how a dome stands up in these drawing demos you're going to learn that lots of the world's most famous buildings are based on very basic shapes and that we can use these shapes to figure out how to do really cool drawings of them give it a go and see how you get on so this time we're going to have a go at doing the Pantheon, which is one of the most amazing buildings in the world. Now you may find this one a bit harder than the Shard, but you'll see that it's still formed of very basic shapes. But give it a go and see how you get on. We're going to start by drawing a very basic egg shape and then draw two lines going across it. 
You're then going to draw two vertical lines at the edge of the egg, joining the two horizontal lines so that the building will have straight edges. You're then going to rub out the bottom part of the egg and the two overlapping sides of the egg. And there you'll have it, your very basic Pantheon shape. We're then going to have a go at drawing the middle part of the Pantheon, which you'll see is made of drawing just a very basic square in the middle. And then we want to draw the two triangles that sit on top of this square. These are called pediments and the Pantheon has two of them. Rub out the lines that have overlapped each other and then we can start adding detail. The Pantheon was built in 125 AD by Emperor Hadrian during Roman times. The Romans liked to add lots of detail to the buildings to make them look really grand and impressive. We're going to start by adding some lines to the dome of the Pantheon. This will make it more realistic to the Pantheon itself as well as making the dome look more dome shaped rather than flat. When you've drawn these lines, I want you to colour in a hole at the top of the dome. This is the oculus and it is the only way to let light into the Pantheon. You can then start adding details to other parts of the Pantheon, whether that squiggles around the pediments and edges, arches and windows. It will make it all look really beautiful. To finish it off, we're going to draw the columns in the middle part of the Pantheon. All you have to do is draw a line at the top of that bottom rectangle and then lots of vertical lines to divide it up. Each pair of lines will be a column. Draw some squiggles at the top of each column to add detail. Then you want to colour in between each column to give that sense of depth. Pantheon is actually one of my favourite structures in the world because I love the dome and I love the fact that it's made out of this ancient concrete. Yeah, I think it's amazing that such an old building is made out of a, a material that everyone thinks of as being a really modern material. So it's, it's an awesome building. And it's so beautiful as well just in terms of its shape and its geometry. So Katie and I hope that you've enjoyed that film and you go away and try it for yourselves at home.